It's a podcast. Hey, hey! it's a podcast. <laughs> oh my okay. god, we should. We're back. Yep, and it's bad already. Yeah, uh, we've already gone off. So, how's everyone been? I, you know, I've been good. Uh, right, yeah. Still alive. We could always cut that tangent, though. Well, uh, yeah, we could just start with "It's a podcast," and hey, what, and then, what tangent? You know, we'll we'll fix it in fuck post. All that other shit. <laughs> yeah. Jasper has the right idea. Uh, yeah. Fix it so I moved recently. Finally, eventually. That's pretty much all that's been fucking new with me. Is I just moved. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You Everything moved. Else is about the same. You moved like across the country. Yeah. yeah. I moved from Florida all the way to Idaho. It was like a week of driving. A week. How of much driving. better is Idaho? Really? <laughs> a million times better. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard some Trust things me. about Florida. Florida sucks ass. I would not recommend going to Florida. At all. So bad. Unless you're just going to Disney. If you're going to Disney, that's fine. But everywhere else just sucks. I mean, unless you're like really into old people, it's hot as dicks. It rains all the goddamn time. Lots of old people. Lots of old people <laughs> who don't know how to drive. So if <laughs> that's your thing, Florida you is the place to be. They're dinosaurs. Alligators are dinosaurs. <laughs> Why would you want to live in a place like that? I wouldn't. But dinosaurs in Florida sounds yeah. awesome. Sharks. Or also, I mean, it's like cold and dinosaurs. So you know, sharks are pretty cool. Sharks are, pretty cool. <laughs> but it's cold and snowy here. But I like the cold a lot better than I did the humid heat. In yeah, Florida. Yeah, cold is like ten times better well, than. Well, you can always sort of put more though. clothes on, whereas you can only take so much clothes off before it becomes illegal. So, yeah, before you get arrested. That's yeah. that's my yeah. That's how I feel about it too. Yeah. So that yeah, it's really humid here at the moment, so I'm like it's morning, so it's really yeah. good. It's only like seven in the morning. So it's like really good. I don't wanna moment, go but... Yeah. Uh, I, I don't ever think I wanna go to Australia, being honest. <laughs> wow. It's fine in the winter, just in the summer is just just from how much people complained about the heat during RTX, uh Australia. Yeah, it's their own fault for putting it, it fucking smack bang in the hottest fucking month of the year. That's their own fault. Also, didn't the main hall <laughs> didn't true. have any air conditioning? No air conditioning. I mean, it was that's awful. Kind of oh a God. slight Smell oversight. It now. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, oh. especially with as many like bo ridden oh, nerds it was, that were probably there. Uh, I can't imagine. And people how bad think that like. Smelled. I'm not gonna take a shower. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of deodorant. Oh, That'll be fine. No. Those kind of people probably. <laughs> just give myself a, a, a British shower. <laughs> a little bit of deodorant, be fine. Oh, that's oh, just God. no. The, the, yeah, the, that's 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 <laughs> how I feel about this. I went to this new story here that I've never heard of. It's called Hastings, but they have like a shit ton of uh, just all kinds of different nerd shit. Oh, you were talking about this. You, yeah. Yeah, the farther away you get from the like actual bookstore section and more into like all the anime and stuff, the worse it starts to smell. Ugh. Like, and it just smells like bo and just nasty uh. ass nerds that don't shower. Why just God shower? It's it. so easy. It's, How do people not shower? It's really? nice to be it's, clean. It's also I don't just know. Like, water. It's a necessity. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like I, I'm, I'm a nerd. Yes, I'm a geek, but. I know how to take care of myself. Personal hygiene, it's pretty yeah, simple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's important. Like, two yeah. things. Take a shower, brush your teeth. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. Life lessons Basically. with Jasper. <laughs> yeah, but make sure when you're in that shower, you don't just stand in there. You have to turn on the water, <laughs> lather up with soap. Just stand in the shower for, the like, soap. ten minutes. Make sure you no get water. that... Yeah, make sure you... <laughs> I mean, you gotta just specify sometimes. Just soap all over I mean, your dry body. They might not know about... <laughs> <laughs> Look, Logan, anything is an improvement, all right? These people don't shower. That's I'd be true. happy if they stand under, you know, flowing water for 10 minutes. That'll help a lot. That's yeah. true. So at least turn on the water, you know, <laughs> do something. Just don't stand in, knock, the, in the shower the... cabin not doing anything with no water yeah. running. That would be... Knock the stank off, at least. Preferably use some form of soap as well. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be ideal. I mean... I don't want we're, them we're to, asking like, for a lot we know hives. that but just yeah I don't want them to have like an allergic reaction to the soap they're using because they haven't ah, used fuck it, it in God knows how long I don't care about them I just care about my nose and how they smell yeah exactly that's why you have to care about them 
Well, because you have to smell them. They're used to their own smell, so they don't notice it. Mm. It's the same with smokers. Like, smokers don't fucking smell yeah. cigarette smoke on them. But every time, because uh, I've lived around smokers, my parents were really, really heavy smokers, and then they stopped. And now every time I even smell someone who even hints at smoking, I could smell them from like across the room yeah. and point them out like they're it, a chain smoker. It really, really stinks. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah. And they just they just don't smell. So it in themselves. other words, don't be a smelly nerd and don't smoke and don't do both at the same time. Because that would just be like horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to cover up your bad body odor with smoking. Best plan ever. Oh, Stand out and would absolutely work. I don't know work. if that'll be, that would be an improvement. No, it depends how bad the body so. odor is. Because I don't True. find I don't find maybe smoke it mixes and becomes bad, one super like, bad smell. Like I would start gagging if yeah. someone like just completely ridden with bo just stood next to me. The, the I mean, weird yeah. thing with I me have is. Before on the bus it's just awful like this people who just sit right in front of me with bo i'm just like fucking hell do you even smell yourself like really it's just awful i had a guy like it that is. in but anyway uh, yeah I, I had a guy like that in one of my classes in high school and like w- you could smell him like you would be like at the furthest corner in the room away from the door and you would smell him as soon as he walked in. Like he he probably showered oh, so bad. He probably showered like <laughs> maybe once a month if you were lucky. You know, by j- uh, that was like half of high school by, in by Florida. The smell being honest, of him. all that taint sweat. And then I saw him recently again uh, at uni. I didn't realize he came, he went to the same place as me. But like, it looks like he hasn't showered in the two years that I saw him. <laughs> It's so, nasty. Oh, it's so bad. So yeah, this is a cool I, idea. I, I all sweaty nerds, fucking personal hygiene. <laughs> yeah, all you, all you, all I, you I have a similar story like that. Um, I can I see in, uh, Logan should, should desperately trying about to go off this topic and everyone trying yeah, to... Yeah, I, mean, Dude, I just gotta tell the story and then just... we can just move on. Just let me tell the story. Right? <laughs> let me cut into another guy's story. Yeah, alright, fine. Anyway. Let's talk about more sweaty, nasty nerds. <laughs> when I was in elementary, there was a kid in my class, and I don't know how he did it, but he smelled like piss every single day, right? Oh, so it was all right. It was bad. It was bad enough <laughs> being and in the it's, same it's, room. It's, it's with, begun. It's bad enough oh. just sitting in the same class as he did, but that was in my last year of elementary, and uh, it's a tradition that you go on a ski trip with the class. Now. Uh, I was the unlucky son of a bitch that got paired with him in the room. Oh. So that was fucking bad. I don't I don't remember if he showered, but even if he did, you could still smell him. He, he still smelled like piss even if he did shower. I don't know how he did it. If if that was his natural smell, then I feel bad for the dude, but it was just disgusting, really. I feel bad really for the guy god anyway. awful. Maybe he had True. like a piss fetish or something <laughs> it was just i, I think it was just bad i think there, there goes nobody to wanted to like... be in in his room all right so michael hey michael <laughs> hey you went to rtx australia why don't you tell us yeah, about it and sure let's did. you know I'm... not talk about the sweaty nerds that were <laughs> on there. this rooster uh, teeth community podcast there. there's a lot of sweaty nerds <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's a lot of sweaty nerds, but let's get past that and let's talk about how fun it was. How was the experience? It was I good. saw you in a couple of the videos. Yeah, yeah, I've been pointed out in a few of the videos. Recently, uh, one of the guys I sat with actually pointed me out in the Rooster Teeth podcast video, which was awesome. Um, but yeah, I managed to attend a lot of panels. I bought the VIP tickets, so... The whole, whole, whole thing with that... Money uh, bags over here. Yeah. How well, I had the money the and I was lucky tickets- enough- it's like a little over four hundred dollars. So. Dude, that's a lot yeah, of money. But the the ones over here, isn't it like eight hundred for the VIP? I thought it was no, 500. it's five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred American. If I can find dollars. a job, I'm probably gonna get some. But yeah, yeah, I was I wanted to, but I didn't want to like with everyone there. I didn't want to be the only VIP, and then everyone's like not. It'd be a bit weird. But anyway, uh, I got the VIP for RTX Australia and. 
they didn't know how to handle the VIPs because this one wasn't being run by, like, wholly by Rooster Teeth this first convention. They were partnered with Supernova, who does a lot of... Um, oh, really? Yeah, so they do, they do a lot of sort of conventions within Australia, um, like anime and those sort of things within Australia, and they partnered with them and they set everything up. Supernova had no idea how to handle the VIPs, so a lot of people who weren't VIPs got really mad because uh, VIPs got like more special treatment than they should have, if that makes sense. So for things like signing lines, uh, they would get through the entire VIP line first before getting to any of the general attendees, uh, and usually that would take up... They've only got like hour signing sessions. And a lot of the times that it take up 45 minutes of just the VIPs getting signed and photos and things. And then, you know, the general attendees barely got anything. So, and I can see it's, it's like what they did by the end of it. So like the second half of the second day, they did sort of three or five VIPs and then five general attendees and then five VIPs. And that's the, at least they started to get through all of them, but they didn't figure that out until like, the end of the second day so there's people giving vips dirty looks and there was a lot of vips apparently swapping passes so they could get into lines and things quicker but you so think that fuck those guys like how, many, how many vip how many vip passes were there because uh, i know there's only a limited amount over here yeah there was only a hundred <laughs> initially uh and then they decided to release another 100 because apparently supernova are cash grabbing fuckers uh yeah, so I, uh, even a hundred seems a little much, especially for like, I don't know. A hundred, I think, uh, was that's enough. Weird. Like, yeah, that's but fine. it's like if all hundred people are lining up and it takes like what a minute per signing, they're not even going to get through the entire VIP line. Like, if they only have an hour for signing, it's not usually a minute. They yeah, they it's say less. Like they have the, they have guardians that were there that said yeah just be really really quick about it um, because you can but, see I mean, the line like the VIP line lines up directly next to the general still, attendees even yeah. if they even if it was like thirty seconds or below that's still only about like twenty people in the regular line that's gonna get through yeah. whereas if they just let everyone in the VIP line if there's that hundred people in there. It was never the hunt like I mean was never the two hundred people that it ended up being. But um yeah with that no, release of the extra hundred it was uh it made it that much it's, more chaotic. It does seem really yeah, really shitty yeah. for people who are waiting in line who probably lined up there people early. lined up like, like an earlier yeah they lined yeah, a lot of them like lined up early. like an hour early and i got in as they were signing with my vip and still managed to get things signed and go away and then attend a panel at the same time so which i also got priority seating for which was awesome but you know i got dirty looks but i'm just like, like you know what fuck it i spent four hundred dollars i'm gonna i was about to say you spent four hundred dollars but it still kind of sucks i can understand like, why they did, yeah they need to like somehow manage the time a little better mm. either have like straight up vip signings like either later in the day before like someone leaves maybe just have like a 30 minutes where they have just straight up vips only yeah yeah to go and meet and greet that way the regular signings can be for you know regular people who are trying to get shit signed too. Yeah. The best way they... Because they still paid money and yeah. still traveled to get there. The best way they could have avoided it is just by not releasing that second fucking 100 VIP tickets. That would have resolved almost everything. Yeah, that but that you, seems like... That it, was stupid. You think like a, c a company or an organization that has experience in the field wouldn't make such a stupid mistake? It well, seems like I have a, a weird but thing. They, yeah, I have a friend who actually, he has a collectible store and he sets up stalls at Supernova and so he has sort of inside knowledge about them and then basically he says that the only thing that they really care about is the money. So Exactly, that's what I'm that's saying. They like still got the money. They don't give a shit yeah. about the people that didn't get their stuff signed. Yeah, true, they still but have those people's if, money. if people are unhappy about the way a convention is run, they might not come back next year and then they'll lose money. So in the end... For them, it's most important that they do a good job so people will come back and spend unfortunately, more money, I suppose. Unfortunately, there's nothing else like it, really, in Australia. So people will come back if they want to see the Rooster Teeth guys. 
So it's one of those things that they know they can sort of milk, at least for a little bit. I don't know if they'll do it again next year, but we'll see. It's been confirmed next year. I mean, so. And Rooster Teeth could choose, like, they could choose to do it on their own and not... Yeah, but I think... Not, if, not go with Supernova. Then you need people there. And the only way that they can do something is if they were to say, like, all right, we're going to open an affiliate somewhere in Australia and then organize it ourselves. That's something they could do. But I, it seems a stupid idea to, you know, make a new office on another continent just to get one event done. That seems rather yeah. foolish. Well, they already sort of half have it like they've got hanabi which is I was about to say they, um, i thought they had like a it's rtx semi office it's kind of thing. So it sort of is it's a basically the uh uh there's a word i'm looking for the i guess the liaison for the australian community it's hanabi and they're a an anime um supplier basically within australia they're the uh, it's another word I'm, i can't i can't word this morning uh, but yeah, they they sell a whole bunch of how to, anime and how whatnot, to English. and they're all, yeah. Uh, but they're they're big anime fans, and they're also big Rooster Teeth fans. So they, a lot of them actually know the Rooster Teeth guys directly and work with them to set up things. And that's the reason, like having Hanabi is one of the main reasons they actually ended up having an RTX Australia. If they didn't have anything like that here, it probably wouldn't have happened. Because Hanabi have yeah, a strong seems... connection to Supernova, and yeah, the, that whole thing happens. So, yeah, because it seems like a weird thing to go to Australia, because Australia isn't that big, and it's pretty remote. So it's not like people from all over the globe are gonna go to Australia. They did though. Yeah, they yeah. Did. I was about to say people from all over the globe go to Austin, Texas. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I mean, but um, Australia is like on the other side of the planet so it's a lot what, easier for them to host an event have australians and people in the surrounding countries and true i guess yeah, for the there was a, surround- a lot of people from new zealand and quite a few people from even the asian countries were there so you know yeah i get that it's important for them right but that's like if if they were going to do something in europe then that australians are going to fly all the way to europe that seems highly unlikely right it's more of a immediate kind of effect more of if they host it, it's going to be for Australia, New Zealand, and then, let's say, Southeast yeah, Asia. Pretty it's, much. it's more for those people. It's not meant for Americans to go, to like, all right, I'm going to go to Australia just for this one event. It's not meant for those people. people. Yeah, and that's... so Exactly, that's kind of the point of it. Yeah, it's the reason like, why they It's they're meant made. for the people who can't really afford to travel that far. Yeah, yeah but the same thing and could be the said... The people, you know, that come from america to australia those are just the hardcore fans that it was, i know it was some no, but anyway the, the thing is that what strikes me as a little bit off is that they chose australia of all places i get the reasoning they've already talked because about it. second yeah i know it's like the second why, yeah. largest fan base yeah. in the world <laughs> but is it in raw numbers that's what i wonder is Australia is a, has a population of about like 24, 25 million people. So you can say like, okay, it has a very large fan base. That could uh, be. Oh, 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 there he is. <laughs> you cut out there for a sec. You might have to 24, start that 25. thought over again. Right. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Australia has about a population of about 25 million people. Uh, Something like that. It's right. not... Right. So even if you have 100,000 fans in Australia, right, which is percentage wise pretty good i suppose but if you look at the raw numbers i would imagine that if you take a look at for instance europe where you have a population of maybe 500 million people that it's easier to get gone again more people here we go (laughs) yeah sorry it's fucking internet it's it's because the fucking server is in singapore it's not my fault yeah why is the server in singapore I don't know. Ask the I one must... who put it there. Hey, that was uh, someone forgot to change it. Uh, I could ch- I could change it, but it might reset the the call. Yeah, I don't know if that's probably if that's a good thing. I don't think it does. Doesn't it? Okay. I think well, I've... keep keep going. I'll, if it I'll... does, yeah, we'll just keep yeah. going, keep recording, and we'll keep, keep going, and just cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> cut it. I out. think I think we. 
But honestly, Jasper, I don't even know what you're going on about. Like, why are you so against having RTX Australia? I think I'm, just I'm not against having RT- <laughs> Yeah, did you just like <laughs> fucking did that Aussies. part cut off, or do you just <laughs> no, fucking it's hate just... Australia? Because I mean, yeah, no, I think we've had this argument Australia. before. Like, didn't we? Probably. Because I remember completely like underestimating or overestimating how many people lived in Australia for a while. I, I'm pretty sure we've had this argument before. Uh, I, I think it Probably. was during like a three-hour podcast, so, you know, I don't think anyone heard it. I might not have been there <laughs> yeah, I don't. I think yeah. actually, like, you were, but then you had to leave or something, or someone had to leave. Yeah, I... Th- and then it was just me no, and... Jack had to leave. Oh, it, was, it was Jack, and then me and Jasper just kind of went for, like, two hours. <laughs> We said we we're gonna go for ten minutes. That's right. Cause that's the one, that's like the <laughs> that's like the infamous podcast that you guys were just like, you know what, Jack left, so fuck him. We're gonna make the longest podcast yeah. we can. It, it was just kind of like three hours, four minutes. It was. it was like two hours later, and we were both just kind of like, yeah, we should. We long. should probably like end it at some point now. <laughs> two hour, two man podcast. Well, you know, look, it's possible. I mean, anyway. Jasper, what why what's your beef with having RTX OS? Like I know you're like talking about they don't have like that many people there, but I can tell you exactly yeah. why it happened, but go on Jasper. Yeah, but I, I get that they have connections there and everything. I understand for them it's easier to do that and that makes perf- perfect sense, but the way that they communicated to their fan base was like, Yeah, Australia has, has a lot of fans and while in raw numbers I th- would have think i thought it would be easier to do it in europe so you can get more people because if you take a look at the region europe is easily 500 million people while australia and the surrounding areas might have like what uh maybe a couple hundred million so yeah I would well they've already said guess. that they want to they want to bring it to like the uk or somewhere central like that that's what i thought eventually yeah, what I but they say. don't have the they're, connections they're still growing yeah they don't have the right connections now, there I understand that they don't have the connections, but you'd think that. So are you the connection, Jasper? Like, <laughs> look, if, are, if they want, if they want you, me to be the connection, are you offering to like host RTX EU in your house in your flat? <laughs> in my in my fucking house, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> no, but I, that's, that's the thing. It's like Australia; they have the connections. They know they have the loyal fans because Australia is like their second largest fan base. They sold like, out. I'm not saying. I'm not saying Europe doesn't have any fans in it. I'm yeah, just but saying I, what that... I'm s- saying is that an, hosting an event like that would be the perfect opportunity to get some connections, right? That would seem... It's not good ex- quite that simple, though. Like, <laughs> setting up a something like that in a completely different country is not probably as easy as some people might think. Uh, it's the I'm reason why they only easy. localize... It's the... Not... It's, 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 it's why they did it in Australia first. They wanted to test it with the connections to see how easy it was before moving it to other countries. How do you not get this? You no, know, I get it's, this. It's easy. It's easy to talk about how you would do something different. But are you a multi-million-dollar company, Jasper? Look, you don't I know am. what money I have. <laughs> no, what I'm. I I'm mean, say- yes, this this podcast is like completely amazing, and we have billions of fans. Yeah. Absolutely, but. <laughs> I also want, just want to point out no, that it's just, someone it's... thinks Logan looks like a Jew. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying not to talk about. That's I'm not funny. trying to talk about the stream while we're doing this. But yeah, I I don't know. I guess I look like a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh uh, my god, sorry for interrupting. Whoever was talking. Oh, another another person. Oh hi, are you Jewish? No. Damn. How do you not look Jewish? Jewish. Don't be Jewish. I mean, I... I know. I'm sorry. I mean, if you're not white or Aryan, you just need to get the fuck out. <laughs> that, that's the mole. You know? <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, uh, that's a throwback to our old school podcast. Yeah. With season one? <laughs> yeah, season one. Shout out to <laughs> season one. Uh, Shout out to season three, because this is totally going to be season three since we haven't recorded it. No, this is season two, but like... The, many months. We, we've we had the mid-season like finale, and then we're back for the second oh, half of season two. Oh, okay. You know. So we're like the walking yeah. dead. Yeah. Don't. Can I be... Except a lot less episodes. 
can I be like, yeah. can I be the old <laughs> two dude? episodes per half season? A lot less episodes, and our episodes aren't aren't. Well, actually, I think our episodes would probably be more interesting. Oh, Sick I'm... burn. Hey, yeah, Ooh. fuck you, Walking Dead. Way more chat room podcast was coming. <laughs> for you. Way more interesting than like zombies. And I don't watch Walking Dead. I don't know what it's about. I just know it has zombies in it, but they don't call them zombies. Zombies and drama. It's it's basically wow. What it is. That sounds boring. Like, <laughs> I haven't watched past season two, bit. so apparently it gets boring in parts. But yeah, anyway. it's season two is the one with the farm, right? Yep. Uh, I don't. I don't. Know. They kind of ran out of money, so they were stuck on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that that season sucked. That's probably why it stopped. Honestly, did it stop? No, I I stopped. Oh, okay, it. right. I think you said that's, that's why, why I stopped watching it. Stopped. No, no, it's it's still going. It's still it's like season six, I think, is what it's up to. So yeah, five or six. And it's supposed to it's... have its up and downs. I think. Mm. I I like yeah, the first I've heard season. Yeah, like. Yeah. But the second was bad. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was boring. Uh, it's not mutually the same. So it was boring. Season three was interesting, but had its very boring moments so and after that i didn't really watch because you know you know how those shows always make something go right and then everything goes wrong and then they repeat that yeah. over and over and over again in the end i'm like N- nothing goes right ever i mean they, they they establish a camp everything's safe like yeah in a couple of episodes everyone's gonna be dead and they start over like yeah one time okay but after dozens of times i really don't give a shit anymore Welcome to the zombie yeah. apocalypse. Everything's gonna to go say, to shit. It's, it's a zombie <laughs> apocalypse. You kind of expect shit to go down. Yeah, yeah. I think I, the show that does it true. the best though is Game of Thrones. Like, definitely they do it the best with the whole killing everyone because you never know who's gonna die next. Whereas in shows like The Walking Dead, you can almost sort of see it coming a bajillion true. miles but, away. You, you I, can I, always see it coming from a Julian Miles mm. way. If you've watched the first season, you pretty much watched yeah, yeah. them all. Right. I, I, to me, the Game of Thrones is becoming like this character character of itself. Like, people just fucking die willy-nilly for no reason. Everybody dies, and you're not rooting for anyone anymore because it's like, yeah, he's probably going to die. Who cares? Uh, it's, it's I guess, yeah. I've, I've noticed myself sad. becoming like less and less interested in, like any character that's the problem is that they yeah if if you're you're already invested in certain characters and then he started killing them and then he created new characters but you weren't really invested in them you didn't really care about them and now you've got like a couple of of the og characters left and you're like okay i want to know what happens to these people and the new ones are like i don't really care who gives a shit i only care about like a few people in the walking dead and that's mostly like uh, Carol, and uh, that's pretty much it. Actually, I don't care about the rest of them. Yeah. Carol's the only one that's like come to her senses and been like, "Yeah, shit's fucked up, so we got to be fucked up back." <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we should talk about video games, probably, because I've got a list of. Um, hold on. I um, just played Firewatch on stream. What, yeah, and beat it Firewatch? On stream. Oh, you've already finished it. I n- Damn. Yeah, it's I only like never a heard of that game. game. I've never heard of this game either. I only heard about it a few days ago. So, um, I can't remember when I heard about it. I think it was like E3 last last year. It's apparently only been made by like nine people, but oh. it's really great. Like the writing is fantastic. I've what's it about? I barely know what's going on the entire time. What's um, it about? It's basically just some dude who's a fire watchman in Wyoming. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just, you know, doing the normal job, looking out, make sure no fires or people starting fires and shit like that. And then you start to realize that someone's following you and been listening to all your radio conversations. That's not creepy. Shit starts getting, yeah, shit shit starts getting messed up. So it's a horror game, sort of, or a thriller. It's it's a mystery more. Oh, like okay. Check mystery it out because I like those kinds yeah. of games yeah. where it's like it, I think it's on sale right now. Yeah, yeah. it's on. It's, uh, How much is it? Thirteen fifty. Thirteen? Yeah. 
That's it's not too bad of a price for a four and a half hour game, and I would say it's worth it. Like the music's good, the writing's good, the gameplay's good. It looks awesome. Yeah, I liked the art style. I looked. Yeah, I looked at a little bit of Markiplier playing it, and uh, yeah, it looks really cool. So, yeah, I would say check it out. It's a good game. Yeah. Anyway, what else, what's everyone else been playing currently? I know you- Siege. Yeah, Siege has been the big one. <laughs> Fuck you. All the seeds. Fuck you, Mikey. You're not allowed to be part of this conversation. Yeah, anymore. fucking. <laughs> Until you get an Xbox One yeah, and get Xbox Siege. Xbox 360 ne- plug. <laughs> fucking PC. It's not next gen, it's current <laughs> gen now. It's been well, current, yeah, current gen. gen. It's been out for two years. It, it's <laughs> next yeah, gen for. There's nothing else out. <laughs> yeah. Although, I, I don't know. I think my PC might be able to run like some current gen games on like low settings. But yeah. Yeah, but you can't still can't play with us on Xbox, so it doesn't no, matter. I can. You, you gotta get you gotta get the Xbox. I don't. Ones. He's got he's got a job. He's got a job now. I so, do. Yeah. I do have a job. So. Ooh, what's your job? Uh, what do you do? I well, I haven't started yet. Uh, but I'm I got a job in McDonald's. So. Nice, yeah. nice. Gonna be flipping burgers. I'm gonna have to look at that. Rubbing my dick on people's food. I probably. All right, you heard it here first. If you see Mikey working at your local McDonald's, yeah, it's probably no, best prob- to order the chicken nuggets. I probably nuggets. shouldn't uh, <laughs> like say that, just in case this accident, uh, uh, just in case not. this accidentally becomes massively popular, and my future boss massively popular. Just say it wasn't you. Your future boss. Me. Or I didn't like say anything. The health food inspectors like like test a burger and find like nut particles or whatever. <laughs> nut nut particles. Part of the burger. <laughs> <laughs> taint sweat oh. all over the burgers and then they're gonna look at this podcast and be like oh it was my actually the secret sauce you. no the secret sauce is white and creamy <laughs> that's God. what do you think mayonnaise is uh right it's not eggs i'll give you that <laughs> uh by the way guys i lost discord you what? Ah, uh, yes, it's, it's not like in the 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 bar. If oh, it's probably in the uh, the hidden one on the bottom right. Uh, it stays open. Oh yeah, there. That's it's in your yeah, triangle yeah. thingy. I, yeah, the tool, t- the hidden that, pictograms yeah. what or whatever. Tool toolbar? No, I don't know. It's in it that the bottom show right. Show hidden corner. icons. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I got it back. I was worried, even though I could still hear everyone. <laughs> so I don't I don't know why I panic. All right, so back back to video games. So I'm playing Siege. What else are you guys playing? Uh, oh, you go, Jasper, if you want. Uh, I play Siege, and I recently got back into Red Faction Armageddon, which I'm two achievements yeah, away from perfecting. But uh, I can't do it because it needs four player co op, and I'm a lonely bastard. So. I can get it. I kind of want to play that game, but uh, it's again, we still need two other people. What, what do you? What the platform? cool thing about it is, it's, uh, three sixty. So I might have the it. cool thing was that when you finish the game, you can like unlock cheats. So for you have achievements difficulty based. So I did it on like normal or easy, just for regular achievements. And then at the end, you can unlock cheats, and it doesn't negate the achievements. So I oh, used I like that. all the cheats that I could buy and then just two or three cheats and then I went through the campaign in like four hours or something. Oh, and no. that that was Damn. pretty pretty cool. And you get like at the end you get like a weapon when you finish the game and that's like a like a, a miniature pony unicorn that shoots oh, rainbows fantastic. out of its ass. <laughs> like <laughs> why even? But I was like it's a pretty powerful weapon. And it makes funny sounds, and it looks awesome. So why not spread joy and cheer with my unicorn pooping rainbow shooting out of its ass? I liked it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that again. Ten out of ten. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, Michael. What else uh, have you been playing? Me, I've been playing inside a... Siege. Wait, which? Oh, me, Mike. Michael, yeah. so, so you're Mikey. Mikey. Cole, Mikey. Not Mikey. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but my name's Mike. I've been playing a few guys. games actually. Sh- shut up go away <laughs> we'll get to you in a minute you 360 plus 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I've been playing, yeah, obviously, apart from Siege, which I haven't played in a while, I need to get back into that. Um, I've sort of broken my thing where I only play, like, one game at a time, or, like, a no more than two games at a time, otherwise I get confused and then I don't want to finish any of the games. But I'm playing oh, through... I know the yeah. I always, I've always stuck to a rule of not doing that, like, more than two games, but I've broken that already. Because I'm playing Siege, I'm playing tomb raider 2013 on the xbox one which looks fucking gorgeous it's, still even though it came out like three the, years ago the thing about the, that game uh, is definitive edition definitive edition that one yeah i've been playing that too it does look really it's good the thing that changed a lot too the thing that bugged me was the eyes for some reason like i played it on pc first and then i played on the 360 yep. and then the eyes were completely Jas- weird jasper's away to singapore again poor jasper what? <laughs> it's not Singapore. I put it to US. I'd be went back to Singapore. US Central. I don't know. Yeah. I have an average ping of sixty-three. Uh, what? Seconds, I've got so two forty. Oh my! I've got two forty, and it's the other end of the world. Uh, mine's so. one twenty-eight, one twenty-nine. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it mine's so seven sixteen. <laughs> It's oh. just me. Ooh, that's okay. Yeah, the eyes are kind of weird, especially when she's like opening the chests and the tombs. Her eyes are just like fixed in one location. Tombs. Yes. She looks, she looks funny. Okay, tell me, <laughs> Michael. Yeah. Am I weird for thinking that Lara looks like way more sexy when she's covered in all the dirt and blood and stuff? Not I at mean, all. if you're into that. <laughs> that's... <laughs> no, but I mean, like, if you jump in a river and it like washes all that crap off, she doesn't look as hot. I don't know. I, I mentioned that in one of my streams, and yeah, that, that's I was so pretty weird. weird. And she, she, I don't know, she looks more rugged and hot. To me. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I get what you're saying. I think we've like, learned a lot about looking. I, someone who can handle her business. I just love yeah. her British accent. That's fucking really cute. Uh, just, the I voice acting is great in uh, that game. Mikey, Mikey oh, it's so good. I, I love the. Mikey's the, got that British I, accent. I mean, there's no such thing as He's a got British s- accent. The, well, you know, the English accent is the one. I'm but I mean, there's. The I mean, even then, like that's, that's a broad term. I mean, there's many different English accents. Yeah, but you know what I mean. I guess whatever Laura's accent is, you find it's not Spanish. Sexy. It's English. Oh, like, she doesn't talk, talk like this. She talks not Cockney. You no, fucking she's idiot. not Cockney. <laughs> yeah, she's like I don't know. She's from like London or something. I don't know. Okay, sure. It's I don't know. Oxford. I don't know different region. It's English. English accent. It's cute. Anyway, and it she it's like the typical British accent that doesn't have any kind of like regional dialect. Yeah. To it. But it's just like if you just picked one random British person off the street, they would probably have that. I don't accent. think probably. that's yeah. how it works, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> like if you went to somewhere like Manchester or Liverpool, they probably wouldn't have that accent, but you know. That's what I'm saying, not like the regional dialect, just like the typical British accent. The one you hear in like a lot of TV shows. Movies and yeah. shit. Okay, yeah. yeah. I-, I know what you mean, I'm just being like pedantic. You're just being an asshole. Yeah. That's a joke. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Apart so from Mikey. Tomb, well, apart from Tomb Raider, I'm also playing uh, Need for Speed, the newest one, which is eh, it's all right. And I'm also playing a visual novel called Clan Ad, which is taking up many, 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 many hours because I'm a gigantic. You're also weep. playing. You're also playing Uncharted, aren't you? Oh yeah, I'm speed running that, so that's fun. How's that going? It's still technically playing it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm playing a lot of games. It's too many, and I can't keep up. And usually I'll just sit at my computer and be like, "Too many to play," and then not end up playing anything. So oh, I know, I know that. That's feel. my life. At least it happens to me all the time. Like simple. Yeah. That's that's my problem right, too. Yeah. 360 pleb. I what haven't played playing? 360 in a while, actually, to be honest. But you've been playing uh, PC. Nothing. Wait. But nah. I saw you like playing Rock Band a couple of times. I, w- I don't ha- that rock, rock band. band. I don't own Rock Band. <laughs> I think it. <laughs> I, I think it was online, you. Like, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> was it someone else then? I definitely remember thinking, "Is is Mikey playing Rock Band? What?" <laughs> no, it wasn't rock fucking band. Mikey the Rock going Band crazy. champion. No, I uh, I I think it was like a, a month ago. I bought a uh, Guitar Hero. So that's maybe where you're getting confused. Oh, guitar, that might be the thing. 
Oh, okay. You know, the superior. Right. The superior. Solid game. game. I mean, it's good for when yeah. you're bored. I don't. Uh, I Guitar Hero Superior. I don't know. I haven't played Rock Band, but I've heard there's way, way more songs that you can get on Rock Band than you can on I've, Guitar Hero. Dude, if you buy like Rock Band Four and then download every single, you have like song pack plus download all the songs from the I've previous never games. Yeah, it. yeah. It's a huge list. Uh, yeah. But I'm thinking about getting it because it's on sale at the moment. Anyway, go on, Mikey. I have been playing. I don't know. For some reason, I've been on like a massive Star Wars kick. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't yeah. know why. Like I, wa- I like rewatched all the films. I watched like the animated the uh, TV show, and I've been playing the shit out of uh, Knights of the Old Republic because I never finished it. Uh, yeah, that's I've right. Never. I barely even made it like through ten minutes of that game. Oh, this, this, bored. this. Star... I've heard it's very good. The story is supposed to be really, really good. So. Yeah, it's it's a really great game. But the the first like hour hour and a half is really really boring and then and then after that like yeah. it yeah. opens up and and you can like you know it, it, it's, it's a like when you're stuck on the spaceship it's not the best uh but yeah, yeah it, it, but i had man, the ending some for good that characters. spoiled for me it, i had the ending spoiled for me so i won't play it but i've heard only good things about i haven't finished it yet that game so i mean i've I heard it's good it. and it's got a good story i just can't play it's it it's like a person. good yeah, mass effect <laughs> Are you saying Mass Effect's not good? I'm saying it's not <laughs> as good as Knights of the Republic. Right. Which, funnily fun enough, I, I realized uh, when I, I played Mass Effect that um, the voice actor for one of your main companions is also the voice actor for one of your companions in Mass Effect. Interesting. It's the, the oh, same. It tends to happen. Fact to I, don't, I don't know, like, I don't know who he plays in uh, Mass Effect, but it's, uh, I think Karth is his name in Knights of the Old Republic. Motherfucking Garth Onassi. What a douche. Is he he's douche? the worst. I, I, thought he was I mean, he's big, useless. Sorry. He's he's a whiny... I, I remember him as being a whiny little bitch. Oh, yeah, like when it... So that's why when, I didn't when like When it prompts him. you to like, oh, there's something bothering Garth. Please talk to him. And, yeah. and, he's, <laughs> and he's like, I don't trust you. I'm not going to talk to you. Ugh. What a bitch. <laughs> Did you shoot him, like, right there and there? I, I just, like, fuck don't you. think you can. Two, two. I don't think you can, but... Oh, the, 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 uh, I should have killed his character in Mass Effect. <laughs> when yeah. you have the just, option to. This is, this is what you did for what you did in uh, Knights of the Old Republic. All right, so I have a topic Yo. request from someone oh. in chat. An ang- angered Rex. What are you guys' opinions on games like Until Dawn? I love it. Love that game. Fucking love it. I, anything that gives me any sort of choice-based adventure, I'm all for. I absolutely love it. I can agree with that. I haven't personally played it. I've only watched one of my friends stream it. And even just watching it, like even if I wasn't the one making the choices, just seeing the different yeah. outcomes is like yeah. really great. Yeah. And that game was good about like having in-depth... like consequences to specific actions. Yeah, yeah, your choices matter, really cool. which is impressive because if you take like if you compare it to like uh, The Walking Dead by Telltale, you can see that in The Walking Dead there are like fixed points where the stories come back together. So your choices don't have um far-reaching consequences, so to say. And with um Until Dawn, I had like a feeling that the end of the game is completely determined by what you do inside while you're playing and which which yeah. I liked. I liked that if you made a mistake like it has serious consequences and it can change for other people that play differently or paid more attention or whatever. While with The Walking Dead I felt like your choices didn't really matter. So to me, it's it's very impressive that they did it well. Your choice based story, which is impressive to say the least. They, yeah, they did it does. sort of well. Like it's still, um, I will admit, it's still sort of like the Walking Dead and Telltale games and Life is Strange. And I won't spoil that, by the way. But very good ending. Um, still got to stream that. Yeah, in the sense that the ending is at its bare bones the exact same. 
Um, yeah, but only like subtle differences. Yeah, so in Until Dawn, it did it the best where you lose characters. So like you start off with eight characters and you can essentially kill every single character throughout the, the Or course. save them all. Or save them all. So, And that's the closest I've ever come to like a visual novel. A visual novel is... I think I've I think I've had this rant with someone else before. Not a rant, but this discussion um, where visual novel is. I think I actually was one of my friends at work. Anyway, um, visual novel is basically where if you make a choice that sends you onto a different route, that route is one hundred percent different than if you chose the other route. So like it's ev- yeah. everything changes. Like the ending is completely different. The characters you meet one hundred percent different. And no Western game has really come close to sort of that style in a normal game yet because it would just cost way way too much to make so the problem is that combining that with good gameplay is very difficult yeah all right yeah. so I, I get the feeling that visual novels are just that visual novels there's not too much gameplay going on when you have a story like until dawn if you have to make like hundreds of different storylines all properly animated and stuff that would become quite a daunting task and that's why oh yeah I think and that's why people game don't companies do just it, but... t- that's why they don't do it and i understand that completely yeah so. So, do, so do i it's just like i would love to see it uh i think it would just be like really awesome seeing a game like and it's never going to happen let's just say like an rpg like a proper rpg like witcher or something like that where yeah every single choice that you make sends you on a completely different path and you don't get the same quests or the same ending or meet the same people as if you chose the other option. So I think that would just be really cool. But I can understand why they don't do it. It would just cost way, way too much and take way too much time to even be worth doing. I was about to say, that would take a long time. Yeah. Because, I mean, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4, they have, like, uh, they do something similar where it's like if you choose to be with one faction over the other, eventually that faction's not going to like want to talk to you at all or do have anything to do with you. And you won't be able to meet certain characters or do certain quests and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but that's prin- but that principle then- has been around for since like Morrowind in 2001. You could join one faction and if you did that, the other factions hated your guts and you couldn't get the quests. And it, I, the that's only, been around the only- for a long time. The only problem is, is that you still get inherently the same ending of the game. Like, it's no, your your ending is not going to be any that's different true. to anyone else's. So, uh, yeah, and that's like that's where it differs. For, yeah, like, the ending is just for anyone you choose. The ending is just the same. Yeah. It's just like an explosion. Like, I won't say what, but like the only different ending is if you choose like explosions in one of the other factions. No. Yeah, I can't. I don't know what the other ending is for like the one faction. I don't want to give too much away and spoil anything. I've still got to play it. But, like, there's only one ending that's different, and then the rest of the three is just basically blowing shit up. Yeah, <laughs> sounds fun. Just with a different faction. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, but that's my thought on sort of those types of games, but. Yeah, I love anything yeah, I think, anything choice based for me is just I absolutely love it. I, yeah, I think that Until Dawn almost got it like just right. It was close. Because even with uh even with uh The Walking Dead and Borderlands and uh all that other stuff, it all still seemed like your choices really didn't matter that much in the end other than just like little stuff. Yeah. They, and it's what to um, me it's the weird thing sorry. is that you 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 pick a character like for the walking dead season one you at some point you get to save you have to choose between two people to save but it didn't matter because in a later season no matter what you did they both died anyway so yeah Yeah. your choice is basically like you get to choose between which person you want around for another episode and then it's game over for them doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter what alert section (laughs) Like, yeah, spoiler but, alert section, this is a spoiler, but it's been out for, God, like, three or four years yeah, now. Yeah, quite a while. And so, when you're in that, like, shop with, uh, what's his name? Lee. Lee. Yeah. And then you have to choose between the reporter chick or the one... Yeah, Carly yeah. and It Doug. doesn't matter. Yeah. 
you choose one, but they just die like two episodes later anyway, yep. so it doesn't even fucking matter. So you feel like your choice has been invalidated by yeah, the Yeah, basically all you get is just different dialogue. Yeah, really well, what's choice, what's the, just... uh, the Funhouse guy said in a dude suit once, where it's basically, it gives you the illusion of choice, where it yeah, think, it makes, it makes still... you think that you've made a, like an actual choice that's going to change the story, but realistically it's going to separate and then eventually come back together anyway. So... And yeah, some that's how are they can others. they can keep going because the um, the game splits up and then comes back together in a later point, and then they can start off from that point from scratch basically, and they can keep going and keep going. So that's why I think that Until Dawn was better because they had a solid beginning and a solid ending, and it's not like there's going to be Until Until Dawn two, three, where they keep on, you know, using the same characters. It's it's probably not going to happen. Well. I don't think there's going to be a uh, Walking Dead 3, like season 3. Like, they're coming out with the Michonne storyline, which should be interesting. And they had the, oh, like, that's 400 right. days or whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, if you've played The Walking Dead season 2, you'll know there's, like, so many different endings that... Actually, be there is not. ...really fucking hard Well, that's it. what they do. Like There's, like, actually, three three different endings. Similar to like, what they do in, with. in visual novels where they actually make a canon ending. So no matter what ending you actually choose the company or the developers will say okay no matter what you chose this is the canon ending the other ones are sort of non-canon um and it's a, a cheap way to go about it but if they really wanted to follow on from the season two then they would say this is the canon ending this is the one we're basing it off so true but ending. going back to like I mean, season two ending from the walking dead they only have to make two things one wearing or three things i guess one wherein Clementine goes inside the settlement, one where she doesn't, and one where she's accompanied by someone else. Those are those three things, and on, the only no, there's th- more than that. Yeah, th- I there's more people. The one where you, you... yeah, but th- those aren't the. Well, I guess I, I haven't watched the other ending, so I guess if you go with the chick, you still have to make the choice whether or not to go in the settlement. Yeah. That's how I, I perceive it. Uh, I think so because I haven't no. watched those endings, so I don't know if that's like, do they still find the settlement if you go with the crazy chick? No. So what happens is spoiler again. If you go with the uh, the chick um, instead of Kenny, um, I assume that's the part you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So that part. So basically, if you go with her. Um, instead you go with her and then you actually go back to the whole prison camp settlement that you were first at Um, and then right at the end there's actually I think two uh, a male and a female that come along and you're at the gates and basically she gives you the option to let them in or turn them away Um, so so you can keep the entire thing so and you can have that choice and I think the the ending I did is I went so, with her yeah, and there's I There's like a few, in. but uh, there's there's just too many different endings for them to make a season three to be about Clementine, in my opinion. Yeah. Like if they make a season three, it's going to have to be someone completely different. And a Not completely necessarily. Different story arc. If, if if I mean, they, they can... make it in such a way that there's like one episode where everything moves back together to a central point, right? They start from these different places, like. The older settlement, the uh, one they found. But that would be like a shit ton of work, because then yeah, they would have it's... to make essentially five or six different games to go along with the five or six different endings. Canon ending. That's but all I'm saying. You like... have to imagine this is just one episode, right? So they can write it in one episode that's like two hours of gameplay, and then they can g- converge back together and start fresh. So they only have to do if that's even if it's game. six six hours of or six different storylines, they'll only have like 12 hours of actual playtime, which if you compare it to like RPGs where you have hundreds of hours of content doesn't seem like all that much work. There's also not much, by not much, I mean not a lot of programming involved because the only thing you do is you pick what you're going to say and you move around a little bit, that's it. But see, I don't really like games that do that. Like one specific one is a Splinter Cell Double Agent. When it goes from Splinter Cell Double Agent to Splinter Cell Conviction, you have a choice at the end whether or not to uh, kill Lambert, which is like the main dude at the NSA, and gives you all your missions and shit. You have a choice to kill him or not. 
I chose not to kill him because I liked Lambert. But in 5, they made a canon that you killed him. And I think that's fucked up. It's stupid. Like, I don't like having it to where, like, you have yeah, that but choice. Just, like, everything but you then did. it converges back into one canon thing. That No, because that's not how it happened for me. Like, that's yeah, it's not just like your canon choices for aren't me. valid. This is what happened. They had completely invali- like, invalidated all your choices. And it's like, that's not how you make a game. Yeah, I can understand why, but like a com- companies like to milk that sort of stuff so if they wanted yeah. to follow on with the story they shouldn't have made that choice in the first place so. but Man, you know i'm sure they probably thought double agent would have been the last splinter cell because conviction was like a million times different than right double agent yeah i don't know i just think like if you give me a choice make it to where my choice actually matters if you're gonna make another game yeah it's kind of like with fucking the Star Wars movie, how George Lucas did it dumb, and he went back and made the first three movies, but he added all this canon that in the like later episodes, the first actual episodes, contradicted what happened in the first three. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen yeah. this Star Wars movie, so but I've heard not great things about the original, like one, two, three. Mikey, you... you... You know what I'm talking uh, about, right? Since you just yeah, said you were on a Star Wars about, like midichlorians and well, shit. Well, like how you know how uh, well that and um, what's his name, Obi Wan? Yeah. Like how they they, what's his uh, what's his master's name uh, in the first three? Qui Gon. Qui Gon Jinn. Yeah. Qui Gon. Yeah. They have Qui Gon be his Jin? master. Yeah. Or yeah. Liam Neeson. They have Qui Gon be Obi Wan's. Obi Wan's master for like that first movie until he dies. Yeah, and then and then Spoiler. these and then he says but, it was Yoda. And then in the yeah, in like episode four or five, and it's so dumb. Like okay. yeah, it's just like that. That that's a pretty yeah, but pretty the, big thing, the, the the thing yeah, there exactly. is that Yoda teaches all most, if not all, of the younglings before they're assigned a master. So in the Star Wars universe. Generally, when you are force sensitive, you're recruited when you're a kid, like four years old or something. Yeah, but you're taken to the Jedi Temple. You're trained with all the other younglings, and Master Yoda is one of the teachers who, you know, yeah, teaches all the younglings at I, some point. So he is technically, technically. I'm just, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying this. Yeah, but that's only for like the first two or three years. I, of I his guess, life. I guess. No, Yoda, that's Yoda that's until they him, take a test when they're like eleven or twelve master. or something. So, yeah, I guess. But they they mentioned that Yoda was his master. Yeah, and like, it, and then there were just could like, be. In the, whichever movie, and then it's like uh, he tells a story about how, uh, mm-hmm. if I remember, they make it to where Obi Wan's not even uh, Anakin or Vader's like master at all. They were just like friends or something like that in the fourth or fifth. Yeah, movie. he says in in episode four he says that uh, Luke's father was a, a good friend of his. I'm not sure I'm if he sure says yeah, it's his bad that one. In episode five, he does say no. He he, he, he said no. He says. I think he even says in four that he. I don't know. He he's, in four he says that he trained Darth Vader. That Darth Vader was an apprentice of his. He says that for hundred percent sure in episode four, I think but so. he doesn't say that Darth Vader is Anakin. Well, yeah, but so he, he doesn't want to. That's kind of just the whole like. He doesn't want to tell the reveal. Like, oh, he doesn't. Long story short, there's a lot of contradictions and plot yeah. holes. Yeah, the, and the, they didn't bother to like when they made the like four or five and six. They didn't bother to make it even remotely correlate with one two and three well there's yeah, other one, way around the story isn't me. yeah they didn't make one two and three correlate sure. with yeah. Like, yeah that's what i meant like they didn't one two and three story-wise aren't the best but i think they brought they have their merits mm. even if it's not many they like they brought I a little bit of background i that's... thought that they had merits and i actually gave the phantom menace quite a lot of credit and going back and watching it just no the acting isn't good 
when you watch it, it when you're it doesn't older, hold you're like, up. oh my god, this is the, the worst acting movie isn't I've good. ever the seen. The story I... doesn't really make sense. Uh, like, just the, the dialogue just... is awful. Because <laughs> I did the same thing. It was like a week before episode 7 came out. I watched like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I watched the first three, and I'm like, the, none of this none of this makes sense. Like, none awful. of this is canon. Uh, you know, because... It's mainly Anakin's just a whiny everyone, ass everyone bitch. Everyone watches That's the Star problem. Wars. Like that, the appeal of Star Wars is like the politics, right, guys? That's why people like Star Wars. It's, it's <laughs> totally not like the space battles. And... I do. I was about to say, I was surprised at how little lightsaber battles there were in the first three. I Are remember you there kidding? being a lot more because it was like updated. Look. And I was in, like, there's just about as many lightsaber battles there's as there like is in the three. original. So no, in the entire, original... Original trilogy. <laughs> the originals have... They don't have a lot of lightsaber battles, and the ones they have aren't as well done as the lightsaber battles in But they don't one, have two, like, all the stupid yeah, no. flips and stuff. I think The Phantom Menace probably had... I'm not included in Seven... Uh for reasons but i think the phantom menace probably had the like the best lightsaber fight like choreography because two and three was just like everyone just flips about flinging a lightsaber and the original trilogy was just kind of like yeah okay they're just gonna bash them together for like a few minutes almost straight up sword fighting yeah, so uh but i think i think like the the darth maul fight in uh the phantom menace was pretty cool the dumbest fight, though, because fucking Qui Gon and Darth Maul fight for goddamn five minutes, and then Qui Gon just gets stabbed, and that's it. And then all of a sudden, Obi Wan's like, "Okay, now I gotta fight this Ultra Sith Lord." Ooh. And two well, seconds yeah, it's cuts him in he's half. Fueled. That's it. He's fueled like, by he his just, hatred. He just killed one of the most powerful Jedi. His hatred powers him. Uh, and also, nah, you know, if if you well, have, have any of you ever seen um, the Star Wars, the Old Republic trailers, the cinematic trailers? Ah, uh, no, I have not. I don't think I so. Haven't. If if you want to see an awesome lightsaber battle, you just have to watch like the first trail they put out. It has an amazing lightsaber battle, and that to me is how Star Wars lightsaber battles have to be. They're just fucking amazing they're like well done you you feel like those the people that are fighting are actually powerful which to me in like the original trilogy like four five and six lightsaber battles felt slow and weird and clunky yeah. and in one two and three they upgrade to more high high paced uh, high action battles which i do appreciate and then when you like make something like that in an in an actual video game engine, in yeah. a in a like three D rendering engine, and you make it as they did, it looks absolutely amazing, and that's that's something that I really appreciate. That the trilogy one, two, and three brought to Star Wars was the more high paced, high energy. I, but I think they went. I think I they went too far that. with like the high energy. Uh, no, I, I think, think the problem is the that they're still. I think. But you know, it's just me. I think they're bound by still having people there, and then the thing is that Jedi in general are powered by the Force, which makes them more powerful and faster. But because you're working with actual actors, you can't really show that aspect all too well or all yeah. too realistically, which makes it awkward and weird. And that's why if you do it in a 3D engine, you don't have all that because you can make that look natural which i appreciate even more because it doesn't feel out of place there while in original in the trilogy one two and three you kind of see some things like i don't know for instance when obi-wan jumps out of the pit in in like the first movie when he's fighting darth maul that seems so fake and weird to me that it draws me out of the movie and something like that doesn't happen in something that's rendered in an engine for instance yeah i guess uh I don't know. I I think uh, like when you, the original trilogy is is they're definitely good films, but they're very dated. Uh, they're like, you can tell that they're very old films. 
yeah they tried they tried to do too much with the limited like effects and technology that they had the th- that it made well even then true. like the effects but the thing is in such the thing is they pushed they were good I, I would say for the time yeah back then but yeah. now it's yeah. dated <laughs> the thing is that you're working with like whereas if you go back and watch the original trilogy like it's it still looks pretty fantastic because they didn't try to do too much crazy shit so it just it lives well yeah they use all practical effects yeah they use like miniatures and shit for their their spaceships and stuff so like it still holds up after years and years and years while the prequels is mostly done by green screening or blue screening or whatever but still they were at the forefront of pushing vfx in their time lucas studio or the visual effects studio that lucas created for his movies is actually one of the lead visual effects studios in the business so i can appreciate what they've done they've they've pushed the boundaries but you can still see because you're working with actual actors and fake shit that it's easier to notice what's fake and what's real and that's a problem yeah uh well i think we should probably wrap up soon yeah we've been going for about an hour oh yes i was gonna say we should wrap up about 20 minutes ago but i never got a chance so you know i'm (laughs) that's all right we get heated about our star wars talk (laughs) yeah I've got a topic for next podcast as well. I've basically taken down a list of like all the upcoming yeah, you games. You should probably so like do write that about down, this. make a backup copy, and like print it out for like so it will survive the three years, you know, until we record again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So about to say, so what? I'll see you guys in about like six months. Yeah. It's- Six or seven months. Sounds about right. Ah, it'll be less than. It'll be less than that. When I mean, was the last know, time? Twenty sixteen, guys. It'll be like. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. That's four yeah. months away. You do know yeah, that, right? It's not six months. <laughs> is it not? Is it not in? Dude, in, I need the money. I don't know when it is. In July uh, one, two, July. and three. So yeah. July one to third. Just under five months. So you know, we. We'll probably get like yep. an episode before then. I should start like an Indiegogo for GoFundMe. Fund my yeah. trip to RTX. Lo- loads of yeah. people. Yeah, we'll get like a total of three dollars. <laughs> probably, and it'd probably be like a dollar from each of you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't spare anymore. That's all I've got. Actually, it would probably be a dollar from from michael and two dollars from jasper and mike would be like no fuck <laughs> i mean out. you know if you ask if you offered services perhaps you know <laughs> 20 quid basically you're yeah. saying become 20 a prostitute quid, 20 quid i'm not either for nor against this exactly that's 20 quid towards my towards i'll, my I'll put in a deposit money. now and like you can pay me back when when you know we can we make can a video make out of it. Money off of this video. <laughs> Can't upload it to YouTube though. <laughs> oh yeah, clearly. What we could do yeah, is just exactly. film it above the waist. Just <laughs> or just, just censor, face. Censor no, no, no. just bits. face cam. That's all it is. It's just face cam. <laughs> it, it'll it'll be it'll be like an episode of Shenanigans. You know how they want to do the episode where they shove something up Gavin's butt, and it's just me shoving something in my mouth. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this has been podcast yeah, number eighteen, with, uh, uh, all of us. season two, uh, episode episode three, yeah, or four, whatever. Oh, yeah, it's three, three. Yeah. But yeah, but it's yeah. been fun. It's good, so good to be first, back. We should first, do this again. First, we should do this again next week. Podcast that we've ever done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First live podcast. That's first cool. for everything. Yeah. Had a couple trolls, yeah. but you know we, we dealt with it. And by we, I mean you. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was random. Apparently, I look Jewish. Oh well, <laughs> so Jewish, Logan. Nah, Just means I have more money no, than you. Nose isn't big Suck enough. It, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> That's what I thought. Like they, they were like, yeah, his nose and his hair. And I'm like, my hair doesn't even look that curly, and my nose isn't that big. Is this? That's a that's yeah. Have we, have we got back to the like, racist portion of the podcast. 
<laughs> that's we, what they said, can, though. Can, no, can that's call, what they said in the chat. They're like, yeah, his hair and nose are a dead call giveaway. It like, uh, like the Logan <laughs> section of the podcast, where like it, it, it's just it's just a racist <laughs> rant at the end. Mikey, Mikey, <laughs> are you Mikey? Are I you am white? white? Yes. I so what have, have you got to worry about? about I'm s- I'm saying I'm saying wow. we can market this, we can <laughs> use this to make more money. Uh, how is being more racist getting make make us more money? I don't I don't understand the business Look at principle. Ben Carson or whatever his name is, that one dude who hates white people. I don't Look I don't at, know him. Look at he's an American, Obama. He's some black you dude know, who Obama hates white people. Obama makes a lot of money. He's probably <laughs> racist. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I imagine he probably is. But anyway, all right. We we yeah, said we were gonna hit like ten minutes gonna, ago. Yeah. So we should stop recording. We're now. gonna wrap it up. Wrapped up. Stopping now. Right. See, See you. Bye. Bye.